afternoon. How is everybody tonight? Thanks you for everybody for coming. My name is Nicole Arnold. If you're new to the class, not every, everybody else knows my name. Uh, <laughs> um, well, tonight we're doing lighter side meals. We're just doing three recipes tonight. We're doing an Amish broccoli salad, which is great. And we're also doing a tomato bread salad. We've done this in the past. It's been probably a year and a half ago. Um, time to kind of roll that out again. And we have an oven fried chicken. We're making a rosemary oven fried chicken. Something that's kind of light, super easy to do tonight. And I'm going to do a couple of things a little bit different than what's on the recipe, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But we're going to start with the bottom recipe. We're going to start with the rosemary chicken, the oven fried chicken. Um, so we can go ahead and get this in the oven and get it cooking. It cooks pretty quick. I've set my oven to 425. If you set your oven at 350, of course, you're going to have to cook this chicken a little bit longer, about 30 minutes, uh, compared to about 15 to 20. Um, of course, I like chicken really good and done. <laughs> Uh, tonight I'm using our Gerber chicken. This is our Amish chicken. Um, probably quite a few of you all use this now since we've talked about it before in the past. Um, this, these are small young chickens and uh, so they're really tender meat. We have great chicken in our meat department but I just especially love this one. There's not any waste. I'm one of these that cuts and, and uh, carves things off of chicken and there's not all that waste in this chicken. So you end up saving money, you end up saving money in the long run when you buy this. Um, but the, they are grain fed, but they're just really, really good and tender. And you, if you buy this, you're going to notice a difference. All right. So, and it's not, you know, and it's not real expensive. So, uh, you know, it's something that, you know, it's, wor it's worth investing in. All right, we're going to start with, I'm going to make this a few times, as you can see. I'm going to do chicken breast. Um, the recipe calls for chicken breast. I'm also doing chicken tenders just because of the class and separating it out. That'll take just a little bit uh, less time. But you take a fourth a cup of flour. And we're just going to put it in a pan. I set a plate, but I've got it in a pie pan so I don't make a huge mess because you all know I like making messes. All right, we're going to take a teaspoon and a half of seasoned salt. It seems like a lot, but when you determine that it's going to, you know, on all your chicken, a pack of chicken, or a pound and a half of chicken, it's not really that much per piece. All right, and we're going to take a teaspoon of rosemary. Now, I normally buy the freeze-dried rosemary, but this is, this is what I had up here tonight. You can also use fresh rosemary. I have fresh rosemary I use at home. Um, oftentimes, I buy it in the produce department. We also sell that in the produce department in the fresh herbs. Also, and then we need about a fourth a teaspoon of pepper. All right, and let me get my milk and my butter out. Let's hope I've got butter. I sure. I have to melt some butter momentarily. All right, I'm just going to kind of stir that around just a little bit. It's not a whole lot you think for a pack of chicken or a pound and a half of chicken. And actually, each one of these packages, this one's just an over a pound, but you can do, you know, you can do more or less. It's, it's a forgiving recipe, as I like to say. All right, and I'm gonna put my butter in, actually, before I do anything else. Maybe I ought to do something just a little bit bigger because we've got just a little bit more. I'm going to melt all of it at one time. We just got started. How are you? I've been hiking all day. I'm good. All right. This normally only takes a tablespoon of butter, but I'm, of course I'm going to do several servings of this, so I'm going to go ahead and just melt it all. All right, so we've taken our fourth a cup of flour, a teaspoon and a half of seasoned salt, teaspoon of rosemary, a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper, and we've mixed that up in our pan. Now, we've got to get our milk in. We're going to take a fourth a cup of milk. Hello, dear. Let me put that in something really quickly. And I apologize. Kind of got stuff sitting everywhere tonight. We got a little behind. 
about a fourth a cup of milk. And if you do it in a smaller dish, of course, it's going to look like it goes a little further. But I'm doing quite a bit of chicken here. All right. Like I said, I'm going to do chicken tenders. I have a pack of chicken breast also, but I've got, uh, I'm going to do chicken tenders just because we're feeding a few more people. So I'm going to soak those just a second in the milk, just to moisten them just a little bit. But if you notice, these chicken tenders, there's no, no fat, no gristle. It is. It is really good chicken. And I was a person, I was a little skeptical. I told the class, I think my pen's leaking. Um, I was a little skeptical in the beginning till I tried it. And uh, then I tried it and I was like, well, I'm sold. All right, now, there is a difference in the taste. <laughs> you just kind of roll that in that, just barely roll it in it. <laughs> well, these are young. <laughs> well, I guess if they had an old hen left, but they sell them while they're still young, so. Right, right, because of the yellow fat in the, in the older hen. Because when you have an older hen, you have more yellow fat, and that makes better dumplings, chicken and dumplings. Mm -hmm. How do you know the chicken you bought from a young hen or an old hen? Well, these are from young hens. You can tell it's more yellow. It is. And it, yeah, and it, it, it says it is. It will. It will. T it'll. It'll tell you on the package, Nancy. It. It does. It does say. It does say that. Yeah, all the Amish is for me, young. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do another pack. You can always you, you can always come to the floral department and ask me. <laughs> well, you know, and. Uh, from time to time, we sell the occasional rooster, too, so <laughs> we do. Uh, but there's, there's people that, have, you know, sometimes want them, actually. So uh, we usually sell They come in frozen, actually. We do sell them. Okay, I'm going to mix up another batch. Are these Amish tomatoes? No, these aren't Amish tomatoes. <laughs> I'm going I'm to go ahead and make me a batch of this up. Because I've got a couple more of these to do. Y'all saw the first batch, so I'm going to... I don't know why I pulled the salt over here. I was getting ahead of myself, wasn't I? A teaspoon and a... We'll go ahead and do another batch of this. And we'll get it all in the oven because I don't have any made ahead tonight. It'll only take just a minute. Everybody's in a good mood tonight. The weather's beautiful. We're happy it's not raining. Four and a half. All right. Well, we were talking about Fun Fest earlier. Uh, I don't know if you all were listening to us. You know, we're just a month away from Fun Fest. Actually, less than a month away from Fun Fest. I don't know how many of you all still go to Fun Fest, but we enjoy it, don't we? You all still go. I go. I believe it starts the 13th, I believe. 12th or 13th? 13th. Starts on a Friday night, and then we have the Food City Fun Fest Parade, and then we have... You in it? You go away? No, I'm not in it. And then on Saturday, we have the block party on Pinola Street. It's free to anybody. And then we have, um, also, we have the Crazy Eights race. We the block party earlier than that? Yes. But I think she was talking about the flyer said 7. Most time we do the block party about 4 o'clock, somewhere in there. You can come later, 5 or 6, if you want. At my house this year. We're hoping, maybe. <laughs> We're hoping, maybe. Just maybe. Uh, uh, 
We have a good time at it, though, don't we? Um, but then we have the uh, Crazy Eights race that night. And there's a lot of different events. Uh, they've changed a little bit over the years, but still a lot. We still do a whole lot. Um, still a lot of events over here at Johnson School behind us for kids. And um, we, uh, we always have a good time. Let me get another glove. Got to have just a little bit more milk. Um, then we have our Taste of Tri-Cities. I don't know, how many of you all know that we actually have a tent set up at Taste of Tri-Cities? We actually sell food. We grill and sell food at the Taste of Tri-Cities, Food City does. And uh, so we had a great year last year, and we donate the proceeds. So, uh, oh, all you have to do is walk right over there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a big year this year. I don't. Yeah, they actually. Well, yeah, they actually have really publicized that this year. <laughs> but we have a good we have a good time we do but there's some big concerts this year though there's some some good singers this year um, of course every year they do really well but we uh, so we have that going on and a lot of other events in town going on Fourth of July, I'll be here for you. Now this is the chicken breast, and if you noticed in the chicken breast, there's not. I brought a couple of those to demonstrate. I was going to slice them in two, and I'm sorry, I haven't. We'll do that in a little while. I have to cook them just a little bit longer. We'll soak them. But as you can tell, it's a wonderful chicken. I kind of really enjoy using it. may just have to put those in and cook, take them and put them in something else, cook them a little longer, obviously. Well, I'm just about out, but I think I've got, I've got uh, my chicken wet and my gloves wet, a little easier at home. Um, Ohio. Come out of Ohio. So, uh, I thought my pen had a hole in it. Y'all didn't see that. Uh, we're going to put these in the oven 15 to 20 minutes. Clean this up real quick. Get this in the oven. All right. All right. Are we ready for our next recipe?